Software updates deployment is one of the many other tasks which could be achieved with the help of System Center Configuration Manager. Welcome to my channel Technic Solutions. This is Jay Singh. In this video, we will have a look at the fundamentals of software updates deployment through System Center Configuration Manager. Let's have a look at the prerequisites for SCCM to push out software updates. Assuming SCCM site status is healthy. So first of all you need WSUS, so which is Windows Server Update Services. And second thing is you have to add a role which is Software Update Point. Alright now let's have a look at how it works. As we already discussed in our prerequisites that SCCM uses Windows Server Update Services functionality. Okay, so once we have added software update point role to our SCCM server and we have made the required configuration, then all the updates will be available in the software updates navigation pane in the configuration manager console. Okay, so once all the updates are available and then software update group can be created. Okay, so once we have the software update group, and then we can actually distribute the content, distribute all these updates to the distribution point from where these can be deployed to the required clients or you can make collections and you can deploy these updates to those collections. Alright, so now we are going to look at the scenarios for software updates deployment. So there are three scenarios we have. So one of them is manual and second one is automated and third one is phased software deployment. So manual software deployment. So one question you would ask why would you use manual deployment of software updates when you have an automated option available. So here are some scenarios which will go in the favor of manual software deployment. And the first one is you want to test software update deployment before making updates automatic. Okay, and in this case you can use manual software deployment. And the second one is out of band software patch. Just in case something has been released by any vendor or by uh, Microsoft as a quick fix and it is not part of the normal update release. So you can use manual software deployment to do that. So the second scenario is automated software deployment. Anything automated makes our lives much easier. So once it is set up correctly then we are all set. Of course you will keep an eye on it just in case something goes wrong. So in the most cases you will use it for monthly updates uh, which is patch Tuesday or for definition updates. And the last one is phased deployment. With SCCM version 18.10 onwards you can deploy updates in a sequence. So you can create phases and deployment continues on the basis of the success rate. So let's have a look at uh, one example. Software updates deployed to a computer collection A during phase 1. So if it's successful, worked on computer collection A, then it will continue to phase 2 for a computer collection B. Otherwise, it won't be deployed to computer collection B uh, in phase 2. Alright, so in the next video, we will look at the manual software updates deployment and I will demonstrate how we can do that. And thanks for watching this video. If you find my video is informative, give it a thumbs up and show your support by subscribing to my channel. See you in the next video.